Hey everybody, Calvin Nation here with a Balasong Instructional. This one is going to be some tips on how to do rollovers. Now rollovers are quite hard, I call them an advanced move just in general. Um, probably the first time you ever learn a rollover is uh, when you're doing behind the eight ball, which uh, looks like that, that was kind of sloppy. Sorry, I never do the behind the eight ball. <laughs> So, <clears throat> sometimes I, uh-oh, my lamp is on the ground and I'm pretty smell, sure I smell, oh shit, I just burnt my, <laughs> I just burnt my, uh, oh my goodness, my carpet with my lamp. My lamps are super tangled and that one was just sitting on the floor with the light bulb down. Wow, those get hot. Oh my goodness, I, I'm kind of an idiot. So, <clears throat> with that nice smell, thank goodness for smells, and thank goodness that my cold is kind of diminishing because I would not have smelt that and we might have had a fire on our hands. I would have made an alright video though, eh? <laughs> anyway, wow, I'll show you that a bit later. There's the burn mark in the floor. Whoops. Uh, like I was saying, usually people kind of start off with uh, the helix and the behind the eight ball, behind the eight ball. Man, I can never remember how to do it. It's just like that. Um, basically, the two rollers to behind the eight ball are what I'm doing now. Uh, that's what we're going to be focusing on mainly is just those kind of rollovers. Uh, there's a few that I like to do. One is just this, the little double rollover, rollover behind the eight ball style. Second one is doing kind of a wrist pass like that. Um, the third one is doing the y, Y2K. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Doing the Y2K, of which I don't do all that often. Also, a very cool looking one, though. And then uh, also one um, where you just kind of do the double rollover and give a few. Uh, little rollouts in between just to add a little bit of spice make it a little bit cooler give you a little bit extra time to um, to kind of prepare for your next rollover I'm sorry I'm screwing up a little bit the 51 isn't the best rollover performer uh oh I see a cat coming Kitty, no! Okay, he's gone. So, how to practice these? Well, basically, I'll give you a quick rundown on each one I did there. Give you a little um, quick tutorial on how to do each one. First one uh, you can do, again, is that kind of behind the eight ball one, where it's just one rollover, two. You can go straight back up, one rollover, two. You can just keep doing that. You can start off nice and slow and start getting faster just like that <clears throat> or what you can do is what I like to do start off straight from this position you can do one throw out and then go right into a horizontal rollover around the index finger that's my favorite and just just get into that um, rollover from there my next one uh, I like to do which you might have seen, I've done a few takes now. The next one is the rollover where you just um, kind of do a wrist pass on the second one, like that, and then as you're coming towards your thumb again, just wrist pass. That should look like that. And again, you can always start slower, get a feel for it, and then go a bit faster. Last one um, is what I like to do is the Y2K. Again, we can start off in any position. And then uh, you go into a Y2K, throw the Y2K, and then keep going. <clears throat> and sorry, I'm not super good at talking while I flip extensively like this. And if you have multiple ballys, flip all of them. 
uh, do the same thing for each one. And what I suggest is, what I suggest in a lot of videos, flip above a bed or something soft so you don't damage anything around you. Also another good tip to keep learning these is if you are unsure about your next rollover, if you feel a little bit iffy on it, uh, give it a quick few uh, little fans in there or um, little throw outs just like that. So another technique I like to do when kind of practicing this is again stand over that bed something soft and I like to actually count sometimes how many rollovers I do in a row and you can kind of keep a high score going um, so you can just you know you go one two three four five and there I kind of slowed down kind of made a mistake so I'm gonna end it there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and just like that. And you can kind of keep a little running total until you get really good and you're just sick of counting. It's kind of a fun little thing you can do. Um, and, I don't know, it helped you. Um, it's pretty hard to give you ideas on how to do the rollovers or practice them. It's just all about going for it, not being scared. And if you get cut, you know what, just try again. And um, it's rewarding because it looks sick. <clears throat> And then uh, another technique is just incorporate all of the variations into one. So there we did the Y2K, standard double rollover, just there, wrist pass, wrist pass again, Y2K, double rollover. And then if you're really getting gutsy, you can do some helix aerials like that, which I am not that great at. So that's why I'm not really incorporating them into this tutorial all that much. but. Get creative, do your own thing. Um, you can start throwing it back into some twirling. Do a scissor and then uh, get back into it from another Y2K. And uh, you're gonna learn how to do some amazing quick freestyling of uh, rollovers. So there we go. Um, again, like I said, um, Practice with all your knives if you can. Here I have my basilisk. I don't use this one that much, and I bet you I'll be better with the 51 than this right now. Uh, even though this is definitely the better rollover or knife. Um, but yeah, practice with practice with all your knives and try to keep it as horizontal as possible. That's when it looks the coolest. And also, uh, if you have a ballast song that has a T-latch, kind of like this one, I do suggest um, uh, kind of keeping it up, maybe with an elastic, kind of like how the spring latch works on the 51, or sorry, on the 42, uh, just to keep it out of the way of, of your lower palm. <clears throat> and it's a good reason to uh, flip in front of um, a bed or something like that, because if that landed on my foot, <laughs> check out that tip, you're done. So. Uh, yeah, practice with all your knives, and uh, you'll be good at uh, twirling, or sorry, um, rollovering in no time. <laughs> Let's try out my 42 here. Let's see, where is it? My 42 is actually in pretty rough shape. You can probably hear it's pretty squeaky, and it's not been oiled, so if any of these oil, these knives would be oiled, they'd probably be going even faster. Um, <clears throat> 42 though, probably my most experience with, with this kind of thing on it. There she goes. Uh, even try it with a smaller knife and uh, probably doing it with a smaller knife you probably get uh, even better with your bigger knives right now we got that 
at 32 obviously and that is quite hard so I bet that's actually very good practice as well but like I said practice all those techniques uh, Y2K standard double rollover uh, wrist pass give it a few uh, rotations uh, some throwouts if you're not feeling great about one also gives it a nice little um, nice little kind of flair to it as well and then um, yeah there you have it so there was a little video on on rollovering and I hope you guys appreciated it I know I didn't cover near everything possible for rollovering but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little rundown down on what it looks like if you can you know do it smoothly and uh, how cool it can be and there's tons of variations out there and I'm only showing you three little simple ones um, but it's really fun and to be honest this is my favorite type of flipping just doing rollovers after rollovers um, I just find it very fun and I gotta work on those helix aerials a little bit more but yeah it's really fun so keep practicing and you'll get it in no time <laughs> good thing I have so many ballys at hand Sometimes this will happen. You get <laughs> into a routine where you're constantly holding the safe handle, so you got to do the wrist pass every time, um, so you don't cut yourself. Easy way to get out of that: just go into a twirl routine. 